Well, here he is. He's uh -huh. pieces. Jelly, I was looking for the man to come back from lunch. He's right behind you. Oh, okay. It's all our pleasure. It's our pleasure. Hi. Nice. So how old were you when you started this profession? Yeah. Can't remember. Yeah. Sixty-five. You were not. No, no, no. How old when you when you started? No, nineteen sixty-five. Oh, nineteen sixty-five. I was gonna say. I got that, and you guys didn't. Well, yeah. I, no, I didn't. I get thought it. he was I thinking nineteen. I don't think you are sixty-five. Yeah. Actually, I'll be sixty-seven in October. Really? Oh. He's bragging. He's bragging. Thank you. So did you go almost to fifty years then? About, well, about twenty. Well, you were about twenty then, huh? Yeah. You just got into. So I actually about nineteen. Did you, Did you take art classes in school? Is that what got you started, or what? I I took a ceramics class in high school, and the teacher knew I wasn't going to be making pots because I was terrible at it. <laughs> And he said, try sculpting. And I said, all right. And I won three scholarships that year. In it, but oh, really? Wow. You I, don't like that My grades friend? were two. My grades, well, I, I'm going to make more uniform. Oh, okay. Uh, my grades were too low to get the scholarships, so I just taught myself. Oh, yeah. but, uh, well, you're very good now. Uh, yeah, that's beautiful. Awesome. I'm well, getting there. It's great that you kept it. Face. Well, if you yeah. want to learn something bad enough, you'll figure yeah. it out. Yeah. yeah, you do very well on the faces. Yeah. My gosh. Thank yeah. you. So, do you just start with a big yeah. rectangular section of clay? Or? No, I have a, a wire framework that goes through it. Oh, okay. So, you travel all around from gallery to gallery? No, I just have one gallery right now, this oh. gallery. I started from scratch about a year ago. No, these were sitting the people that were representing me because the economy had to drop me but I had no bronzes and I had no clients so I'm starting from scratch oh. it's not easy we like the Hawaiian girl there he goes look he's got his friend right there so I'm putting it through that machine but then you have to put it on there right but it stays I'm gonna put uh, these on first. And a little twist to it. Oops. Oops. Oh, you twist it. So how do how do you make it stay though? How it just stays? Yeah. You do something at the end, or it just dries and stays? No, it never dries. If you. Uh, Touch the dress of that, Indian, that wine girl. Go ahead. See how it feels? Yeah, I thought Now touch that. the dress on this one. It'll feel the same. Wow. I did that a year ago. So it doesn't dry? No, it never dries. So you don't want it to be touching it ever? So you wouldn't want to put them in a very hot location? Oh no, because it's melt. This would melt. Yeah. You put it by a window and the sun comes through, it pretty soon can only be a blob. Now, actually, I had a clay in the back of my van one time, and, and I thought I'd be okay, and I got home and then all the clay had fallen off of the armature. Because the uh, temperature was just too high. So you know, these ones that are painted? They're not actually painted, they're uh, Spray. bronze. That, bronze. Uh, has been colored with acid and chemicals. Oh. You don't uh, paint bronze. So then you just need your eye to think how you would want it to look, huh? Well, it's, I just sort of like let it tell me how it's going to look. But I guide it a little bit. It's, uh, it's got to be cast, and having anything hanging away from the body will uh -huh. cost more than having something that's right up against it. If I can keep the uh, fringe reacting to the movement of the dress and still keep it against the dress, it works out good. And then to smooth out the rough areas of the uh, fringe, I use 
lighter fluids. Lighter fluids. Because it has a property in it that actually melts the clay a little bit. Good. See how it's moving it out? Uh -huh. mm. So now you have officially made it flammable. <laughs> yeah. Well, for a few seconds, anyway. <laughs> But it just cleans up all the Beautiful. all the little knobbies. This one has too many knobbies. Yeah. Off it goes. So how long will it take you to make this model completely? Well, I had most of it sculpted in a, in a couple of days. But just a the couple detail, of days, wow. Just the detail work takes time. Very beauty. Yeah, how do you do the braid, like a braid here, without it breaking? Very carefully. <laughs> Very careful. You have to really be careful. He did a regular braid there. You just uh, look at the back of this model. Yeah, it's kind of long. Well, yeah, I'm going to take all those off too and redo them. You didn't like them? They well, they're out? they're all different sizes because I made them by hand. Mm -hmm. See, these are going to be more of one oh, size. So now he's got a frosted thing. So What did you see on this way? No, this is not this one. Oh. Oh. The way they make bronze is they uh, take the original clay, uh -huh. cut it all apart, and make molds of everything. Like for instance, they'll cut the braid apart and make a mold of that separate. And this part will be cast with this part. Then they just weld that back in after they've cast it. I'll fix that later. But anyway, what they do is they uh, cut it into pieces, make rubber molds of all the pieces, and uh, then they make a wax copy from the rubber mold. And they make a ceramic mold of the wax. And they so melt the wax out of that for the bronze. Castings. I used to work out. I used to make parts for the aircraft. Oh, patience, Peggy. Yes. Yeah. I'm so glad we stayed <laughs> to watch you. I had a lot of patience. No, I have no patience. It's, uh, patience comes with knowing what you're doing. Oh. <laughs> well, it's if you have the knowledge, you know, I have no patience to play a piano, but somebody who knows how to use it yeah. can do it. Well, you do beautiful work. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Thanks for coming by. You bet. <laughs>